In this video, I'd like to use StatCrunch to help me build the confidence interval uh, for a true mean. So notice we have, uh, looks like 10 students and their GPAs. Uh, so I'm going to want to import all of these GPAs into StatCrunch instead of having to type them by hand. So I click this little table button, and when I scroll down, it says your table has been copied and is ready to be pasted. Uh, so now I can open up StatCrunch. And I'm going to press Control-V. Uh, and there's my data. So now when I press Stat, uh, we need T-Stats uh, because we're doing a um, confidence interval for a mean. So we need T-Stats. It's one sample. And now we have a summary. No, not a summary. We actually have the actual data. Most of the problems we've done before, the data was summarized for us. But in this case, we actually have all of the grades, or all of the GPAs. So my, my data is stored in the variable 1, or var1. Uh, we want to do a confidence interval. And I believe we needed a 98% confidence interval. And I think we have everything we need, so I'm going to press Compute. And here's my confidence interval. Lower limit is 1.549, or really, let's call it 1.54, or 55, with an upper limit of 3.53. So when I look at my problem, I select letter D. I press Enter, and we get the excellent on the bottom. 